Uh, I will tell you we have three persons of interest in custody. Uh, I'm not going to go into that, who they are. And we're still looking for others. Uh, and hopefully we'll have something positive to report on that in the very near future. No one really knew what was going on, what happened. <clears throat> and the officers uh, and deputies immediately started uh, triage for some of the injured individuals. Uh, we carry trauma kits inside the vehicles, and they started trying to help patch the individuals up, get tourniquets on to get them ready for transport as, as quickly as possible. This was not an act of terror. This was not a terrorist act. If it wasn't for our law enforcement, we would have had uh, more tragedy. Uh, the two individuals that lost their life, uh, the 20 individuals uh, injured, you, you, you know, your heart goes out to them. My wife and I um, pray for these families, uh, the two families that lost their loved ones, the 20 that are injured. So this is a time to mourn for these families. Uh, you just, any family never wakes up expecting to lose um, loved ones, especially young individuals like this. Nobody expects uh, somebody to be injured, uh, you know, going to an event where they, it was supposed to be um, teenagers having a good time.